Hello everybody at Teach Me Bites. It's Mark Anderson, ICT Evangelist, with 20 tools in 5 minutes, or thereabouts. The first one I want to talk about is checkthis.com. Simply the simplest way of building a web page I have ever seen. You just simply click on the areas that you want to fill in, and you can put stuff in. Really, really easy. What I particularly like, my favourite bit about it, I mean it's really, really easy to put in text or images, you can paste them in, so forth and so on. But my favourite bit is the fact that you can actually add in a poll. Okay, it will recognise your IP address if students can't actually uh, vote more than once. It's fantastic and it is so easy. Here's one I made earlier. Really, really easy to put information on. Okay, check this dot com. The next one. Uh, is psychopaint.com you can create your own images and uh, it's lovely what I particularly like is uh, for art teachers you can choose brushes in the form of different famous artists so you choose your brush like that and then you can paint in that style brilliant psychopaint.com the next one is PictoCharts it's a free service, you get three templates, and it's a really cool tool for making infographics. Really love this one. The next one is Screener. I'm not using it for this, but uh, it does create some fantastically easy to make screencasts. Just click record, and away you go. The next one, particularly useful in many subjects, is particularly when you're doing research for historical purposes, is Time Toast. Here is an example of one. Uh, this is the history of MTV and with this one you can just see how you can get information in there really easy to put together you just fill in your table and it converts it into a lovely timeline like you see here the next one is Pixton a really simple way of making comics next up we have Tag Galaxy you might have seen this before but it basically takes your keyword and then gives you other keywords linked to it and from that, you then get a planet or a globe covered with the photos, all coming from Flickr. And you know, because Flickr is full of budding photographers and designers, you're going to get some absolutely fantastically quality images from that search. Next along, I'm going to talk about Chrome. Chrome as a browser is fantastic. One of the nicest things about it is the fact that you can get so many cool tools within Chrome. I'm going to talk about aviary, image editor, audio editor, music creator, effects editor. There are loads of cool tools that you can use in the classroom that are free, made by aviary. Highly recommended. Spicy nodes next. You can use this tool to make really cool little mind maps. And this is a student's homework. And it's really good. Spicynodes.org. Socrative. Use that to ask students questions in your classroom. Really good for assessment for learning and engaging students in your lessons. Next up is GoAnimate, a tool for making really simple videos students can use to uh, create revision tools My or point. explain so other things. Our presentation on energy one more time before Mr. Foster's class. Next up, Tagzido. Make really cool word clouds, better than Wordle in so many different ways definitely definitely worth a look class dojo real-time behavior management really good again this one <laughs> real simple but uh, you know you can use it in your classroom just as a little starter to get students thinking about the topic for the lesson quipper.com free app for creating quizzes a bit like Socrative but not as good next up we have PicMonkey really really good image editor running out of time fast now so Storybird for creating interactive stories then we have Sploder for making your own interactive flash games a series of fantastic interactive whiteboard tools on triptico.co.uk finally Scribed there you can upload your own images, sorry your own books and what have you and publish work that way and my final resource to talk to you about is my blog my name is Mark Anderson I hope you're having a lovely evening with Catherine and everybody else and the Indian food is up to scratch. I'm sure I'll catch you all soon. Take care everybody.